Hi guys, my name is Dan and welcome to another episode of CryptoLite. Today, I would like to talk to you about the blockchain project Enigma. Enigma has been around for about 6 months on the market and at one point, it was hailed as the most promising coin of 2018. Since then, it has lost a bit of momentum and I think that new investors into the space are not aware of this coin. But I personally think that it's still a very good investment, especially at its current price. So today, I'm going to introduce to you the Enigma project. To learn more, keep watching this video. Enigma describes itself as a blockchain-based protocol that uses groundbreaking privacy technologies to enable scalable end-to-end -end decentralized applications. Let me explain what this means in layman terms. Oftentimes in the blockchain space, we use the term protocol and platform interchangeably, but they are actually slightly different. A platform is the technology on which other programs or blockchains are built upon. So for example, Ethereum is a platform. A protocol, however, is the system of rules that govern the communication. So for example, if you're using a Windows PC, Windows is your platform and the language which it uses to communicate with the programs is called the protocol. Enigma currently is primarily a protocol, not a platform, and is designed to be an off-chain solution to help existing blockchains like Ethereum achieve privacy and scalability. Now imagine that I have a blockchain like Ethereum. Currently, if I was to build a dApp on the blockchain, the blockchain is responsible for taking care of all the processing and storage requirements for the dApp. If the dApp is a particularly big dApp, this can be very burdensome for the blockchain. Off-chain scaling is the process of moving the dApp off the blockchain to do the bulk of the storage and processing off the blockchain and then it records only a tiny snapshot of the transaction on the blockchain. It's a very smart process that really offloads a lot of burden off the blockchain and different off-chain solutions achieve this via different means. The way Enigma achieves off-chain solution is through what is known as a combination of two different technologies. Firstly, multi-party computations, which is MPC, and distributed hash table, which is DHT. It sounds complicated with big names, but it's really not that hard. I'll explain it to you in simple terms in the next 30 seconds. So on the off-chain, you have multiple nodes and the data that is to be processed is first encrypted and then segmented into different segments like a jigsaw puzzle. Each node holds a different part of the data and because it's encrypted, the nodes themselves have no idea what the whole full data looks like. That's why it's private. Furthermore, instead of every node processing every data, each node only processes part of the data which speeds up the entire process tremendously. Finally, not the entire data is recorded on the blockchain, only a confirmation of the data is recorded. So the individual's input and information are kept private. So if someone checks the transaction, they will see that the transaction did occur, but they will be unable to trace the details, example, the details of the person's wallet involved. Now, MPCs that we mentioned above is basically the method of distributing the data pieces and DHT is the technology for storing this information off-chain. Together, MPC and DHT will help to achieve both privacy and scalability. Where Ethereum introduced smart contracts to the blockchain world and that was game-changing, Enigma is introducing the improved version of smart contracts, which is secret contracts to the blockchain world. Enigma is currently running on the Ethereum blockchain, but it is designed to be a blockchain agnostic protocol, meaning it is an off-chain protocol that can be employed by any traditional platform. When we look at their roadmap later as well, you will notice that in the future, basically next year, they are planning to actually create and launch their own blockchain platform as well. Currently, Enigma already has a working product in the field, and that is called Catalyst. Catalyst is the first dApp to run using the Enigma protocol and is actually designed and created by the Enigma team themselves. Catalyst is a game changer in itself. It is the world's first algorithmic trading library for crypto assets. Let me explain what this means. 
Now, big traders, example hedge funds, will use big databases like Catalyst to first obtain data on the market and secondly, to test it against market algorithms or strategies. To give you an example, someone could suggest a strategy like buy Ethereum every time Ethereum drops by 20% and then sell it after two hours. And this strategy or algorithm will be put up on the website for traders to try it out. Now, traders don't have to risk their money to try out the algorithms because they have all the data that has been consolidated by Catalyst from the past. So they can simply run this algorithm as a test on based on the past market data to see whether it would have been profitable in history. And if it is, then they can decide to take it out and use it to earn money in the real market currently. So this is a very useful tool that many people in the stock market currently use and the most well-known platform for this service is called Bloomberg. So Catalyst is basically trying to be the Bloomberg of cryptocurrency and currently Catalyst already has over 10,000 users and they are, what I would say, they are achieving success in terms of adoption. Other potential users for the Enigma protocol technology will include industries such as personal identity, so the protection and monetization of personal identity. And this is really a very popular blockchain industry recently with the rise of things like ontology, the key, etc. Other areas it can be used in include healthcare and genomics, credit establishment, and finally, even the internet of things. When we talk about token use, the Enigma token or the ENG token has users on both the protocol and the catalyst. The catalyst is probably where initially there will be a larger volume of ENG token use. Users for the catalyst service will have to pay with ENG tokens to even start using the catalyst platform. And once they are on the catalyst platform, every algorithm that they choose to use or test out, they will have to pay in ENG tokens again. And the person who created those um, strategies or algorithms will get a cut of that ENG tokens. On the platform, the, EN, the, the actual uh, Enigma protocol, ENG tokens are used for firstly, storing data. Secondly, any sort of uh, transaction or actions or computations that you use on the protocol. And finally, it's also used as a security deposit. The security deposit is a deposit that participating nodes will have to lay down initially so that if they are noticed to have malicious behavior, the deposit will be forfeited. So this discourages um, nodes to try and intentionally sabotage the system. This is their team. The team behind the projects are mainly from MIT. Guy Ziskan, who is the CEO and founder, was previously the CTO of Athena Wisdom, which is an MIT Media Lab spin-off. He has also authored several academic papers on privacy and blockchain, and he has also previously led the development of several startup companies. He obviously graduated from MIT itself, and he was the one who taught the first ever class on blockchain at MIT. Uh, the other co-founder is called Ke uh, John Kisugan, who previously founded Exim Chain, which is a blockchain-based supply chain solution. And before that, he was a consultant at McKinsey and Company for three years. He is still quite involved in MIT as well, and he coordinates the blockchain efforts between the business schools and engineering schools. You can go through the rest of the individual resumes yourself, but my impression that this is a fairly young team with most of them having less than 15 years of work experience. However, they are smart, they are successful, and the team definitely has MIT's backing, which is a big factor. These are their list of advisors. There's quite a few advisors, and there are also quite a few capital investment partners. Example, Paul Veriditech from Paterna Capital and Jason Fung from Sora Ventures. Other notable names in their advisory board include Alex Pentland, who is the director of MIT Media Lab Entrepreneurship Program, Bill Barthide, the CEO of Abra, and Josh Lim, the former VP of Treasury and Trading Operations at Circle. So it's a well-balanced team as well as well-balanced board of advisors. None of them are big names in the blockchain space yet. So none of them are blockchain superstars that we will be familiar with, but they definitely are prominent names and very successful in their own individual areas that they come from. For some reason, their website doesn't actually list their current partners, but reading around the name of partnerships that I could gather include Aeon, Kyber Network, Endor, uh, Ether Delta, 
Ethan and InvestFeed. And so these are actually very significant names in the blockchain space and I wonder why they are not shown on the website. If anyone else is aware of any other partnerships that I have missed, please write it down in the comment section below so that others can read it too with my big thanks in advance. This is their roadmap. The roadmap is divided into different stages. Um, the four stages are Discovery, Voyager, Valiant and Defiant. It's a very long roadmap that goes all the way into 2020. I'll try and summarize the main highlights of each uh, stage. Discovery stage, which is 2018, which is the stage that we are in now, will see the introduction of secret contracts and also see them be completely compliant with Ethereum. Voyager, which is the first half of 2019, will see a focus on privacy aspects and the development of MPC. This will also mark the first step towards them developing chain independence and launching their own blockchain. Valiant, which is uh, the later part of 2019, will see an emphasis on scalability and decentralization. And finally, Defiant is about growing and improving Enigma to achieve global adoption. And 2020 is not the end of the whole project, it's just the end of this roadmap. And that's really the start of when the project is finally built and they have plans to impact the world. Enigma is one of the most ambitious projects in the blockchain space because they are aiming to provide both scaling and privacy to any blockchain platform, any blockchain project. Why I like this project is because everything that they're trying to do is new. Okay? They're not trying to duplicate or improve the current technology out there. They're actually trying to introduce a new service that has never been seen in the blockchain space. There is no other project like Catalyst now, yet it's a service that or a project that makes so much sense and it's a proven service that already works in the stock market with Bloomberg being a multi-billion dollar profit company. Already Catalyst is gaining momentum and achieving adoption well, I think we can look forward to the success of Catalyst. The main trust though of Enigma is the Enigma protocol. I think this is what uh, where the Enigma token use and the Enigma success will be in the long term, not necessarily in the short term. The solution that Enigma protocol is offering is a unique combination of both scaling and privacy. There are scalability solutions out there and there are also privacy coins out there, but there is no combined solution that will offer both to any blockchain platform. So if you are a blockchain platform and you can choose between two solutions, one solution offers only scalability while the other will offer scalability and privacy options, which one will you choose? Of course, you will choose the one that has more features. That's why I think Enigma will have a demand and Enigma should grow to become a very important core technology in the blockchain world over the next few years. Finally, let's take a look at price prediction. Currently, the token price is sitting at $2.30 with a market cap of $174 million. I remember about a month ago thinking that anything below $3 for this project is a very, very good price. So $2.30 in my opinion is a steal. There is no equivalent project in the marketplace which makes it hard to identify a benchmark to compare against. A prominent data storage marketplace project is CR Coin, which has a market cap currently of $660 million which is roughly about 4x of enigma's current price the top privacy coin on the market is monero which is worth 3.2 billion which is about 19x um, enigma's current price i know you can't compare enigma to these projects because they are all quite different and it's really quite different from those projects but the numbers give you a kind of idea of the demand for these features in the blockchain space if anything Enigma's market cap estimate should really be the additions of these numbers. And this is just me speculating, but I definitely see Enigma as a 20x coin in the next one to two years, maybe even more. I think the current price, uh, which is very low, $2.30 per token, is really because of a recent bear market. And I think that right now, this is a very attractive entry point. But this is all just my personal opinion. I'm only human and I can make mistakes. And furthermore, I'm not even a professional financial advisor. So please always do your own research and make your own decision. That's my thoughts on Enigma, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, do give us that like and subscribe. And also do consider joining our Telegram group. On our Telegram group, we've got a great bunch of guys with great recommendations on new coins that I can't cover in all the videos because of time. So make sure you join our Telegram group to find out what we're missing on this channel. 
Hope you all had a great Sunday and a weekend and have a fantastic Monday coming up and I'll catch you guys again very soon.